Hello guys, today we are talking about xenon headlamps. How can you regulate a xenon head unit? And also I'm going, I'm going to be talking about uh, illumination in general. Stay tuned. Before we get started here on the headlamp, on lights and light bulbs, let me just tell you here my update on the Alpha, the project Alpha 75. The, the parts are here, most of it. I have the, the silent blocks or the bushings for the upper arm. Um, I also have the, the ball joints for the same arm, the, both, both, both arms. Um, I have to... Stop there, please. <laughs> I have to paint a little bit here the, the arm, but it's okay, no corrosion. Uh, on the lower control arm, I have also my uh, lower ball joint. My bushings on here did not arrive yet, but um, I'm waiting for next month. <laughs> also, I have, I have on this railing arm here, I have my bushings, my washers, rubber, rubber parts, okay? My rubber parts are here, um, they have, they are original, okay? They have these uh, holes, I don't, don't know if you can see, yes? with the light and if I rotate them they are, they are not um, there are no holes so my question is how do I mount this on the car I think if you know for sure or have your, your own opinion tell me on the comments below for example um, should I mount this with the holes up and down or left to right because I think with the, the traveling of the suspension this bushing will have to squeeze on the holes, I think, but if I mount them left to right, I think the, the thicker part or the harder part uh, will do the job and be the damage much too soon. So uh, if you know, please tell me and thank you. Um, before we get started, please like the, the, this video, subscribe uh, if, if you like uh, and share with your friends, okay? So I get a view of what was, I, what was I talking about. Should I mount my rubber parts with the holes up and down or left to right? I think because the, the sheet metal of the car is sandwiched between the, these two parts, right? The, these two parts does this job. I think these holes are here to cushion that movement. Like this, you cannot cushion as well, so well, that movement. Okay? If you know, tell me, please. <sighs> oh! Jesus! As you may know, on the Alpha 156, uh, it's very difficult to take out this cover here uh, on, or this one here as well, if you have not the, the Xenon lamps. Uh, my way of, of dealing with this problem is with the neutral Vaseline. I have some here on my finger yet. Um, with Vaseline, look at this. It comes right out. We spread a little bit of Vaseline on this seal, do not use oil-based grease, you can use silicone grease for example, as long as it, it is uh, as long uh, as is, my cat is always with me, um, so use proper greases for this stuff, for plastics and rubber. Uh, now to put the cover, you just, like this, it's very important to know if the cover is uh, all the way through because if it if it is only midway with the vibration it can fall off okay and with the vaseline or some other product you can feel that the cover goes all the way in fact these two lines here have to line up okay now let's get started with the, the the proper stuff. 
So guys, let's talk about xenon headlamps, uh, halogen lamps, uh, tuning of your uh, head unit. Uh, not your head unit, this is a headlamp. Uh, all, all that stuff. Um, just to remind you that uh, our, our, my English videos are made possible with the help of Ar Alfa Romeo Crew. Uh, Alfa Romeo Crew is a Facebook page, a Facebook group and also a YouTube channel. Be sure to check out everything the, that we have to offer um, and like us, subscribe, consider to share with your friends. So we have here a xenon headla headlamp. I'm sorry I don't have a xenon head bulb, but with a normal uh, bulb I can try to explain you how does a bulb, xenon bulb works. As you can see, this bulb has that filament inside there. Uh, if you take out that filament and you put a round uh, a spherical bubble filled with xenon gas and then inside that xenon bubble, glass bubble, you, ha you have two wires. When you pass a current on your bulb, you have a electrical arc between the, the, those two wires that passes through the xenon gas. The <clears throat> as that arc passes through the gas, the gas becomes excited and glows. That glowing of the gas is the illumination that you need for your headlamp. Okay. Now, one question for you. How many volts do we need to turn on a xenon lamp? And how many volts do we need to keep working a xenon headlamp? Okay, I, I wait for you to tell me on the comments below if you want to, of course. Uh, another thing that I that I wanted to to know is that the xenon lamps have the, the the lamp inside here. This is the plug for the lamp, and down here is the control ECU, not the ECU, just a control unit. Not a control engine unit, a control unit to control the ignition, for so to, so to say, of the lamp. Inside that um, unit, you have the ballast, but it's not always like this. Sometimes you have the ballast on the, the lamp itself. Behind the lamp, sometimes you have the ballast. So I don't, don't advise you to call this unit the ballast because sometimes the ballast is not inside there. Sometimes the ballast is inside the lamp. Okay? So, unit, lamp, ballast, forget it. In my view, of course. The question that I have for the xenon headlamps uh, is, it was, uh, I assembled my, my, car, my the front of my car, I put new headlamps, all that stuff, and now the, the, the alignment of the the light is very uh, up. Um, and I said, do, did you uh, tune, tune or adjust your headlamp? And he said, but the car has a adjustable, auto adjustable um, leveling. How can I adjust my, my headlights? And I said, man, it, despise the car uh, has that auto adjusting, uh, auto leveling of the, the headlights. You always have to tune your uh, headlamp. As, and, and as you can see on the Alpha 156, this is a headlight for the Alpha 156, you have very clearly here, and very easily too, because they could simply uh, put the, the, the screws down here and said, <laughs> no, fuck you, and <laughs> try to tune that. But no, they, uh, they, they put some... Um, some wires, some some uh, extensions, so we can tune very 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 easily the um, the headlights. So you you put your car in front of a regular scope that the the machine that has those those mirrors um, to to le level your headlamp, and that that is a difference between level the headlamps and focusing the headlamps. I will talk about it. Uh, uh, in the next clip. So, you, what you want to do is to turn on your car, turn on your lights, 
everything is straight, wheels are straight, the ground is straight, put it on the front of the machine and regulate this uh, in height and left to right, okay? Right here. Mind you, on the Alpha Julieta and other models possibly, um, you have also on the, the high beams, I'm sorry, uh, on, on the high beams you, you also have a um, tuning of the height of the high beams. So on the Julieta you have to adjust um, leveling up and down, left to right, and also on the high beams up and down. Okay, don't confuse those three uh, because one of them is very heightened and you think you are tuning your uh, low beams uh, and you actually are messing with the high beams. Um, now on the, the Xenon headlamps I think is, there is not much, much to talk about uh, besides uh, some, some other things that I will talk about with this kind of bulbs. The, the halogen light bulbs that, that I have right here. I really don't recommend you to use low quality headlamps uh, or lamps of any kind. I know maybe on your country the, the, this is not a, a thing, a common thing, but what I'm, what I, uh, in my country, it is a very uh, horrible thing to see. People buy these cheap Chinese or whatever lamps um, with cheap headlamps and they, they, they expect uh, uh, good results. That cannot be, and um, I'm, I'm going to prove it to you, that it is impossible to align and focus this headlamp with this blue light bulb. Okay, let's uh, take a step back here. Take a look at this beautiful, it is very beautiful, this, this headlamp. And we have here a projector for the, for the Xenon. It could be, on the case of the Alpha 155, for example, it could be just a simple uh, um, halogen light bulb. And we have here the reflector. As you can see on the reflector, it has the reflector. <laughs> and on the, the projector, it has a specific reflector inside. Okay? As you can imagine, as you are mounting your lamp on the reflector or the projector, this lamp has to say on a very specific point. Okay, that is easy to understand, right? If you put your, your lamp on the correct spot, because you can also put your uh, bulb uh, in, the, in the wrong way, I will show you how, how you can do this, that uh, by mistake, of course. There is another thing that you have to have in mind. This is a Osram, Germany, whatever, and this is Line Extras. This is a it was an offering when I bought something. I think it was a Xenon kit for adaptation. And that is, if you can see, I, I, I will try to line these two bulbs up and try to focus this. I hope you can. No. Unfortunately, I cannot show you in a very good way. So, trust me, the place of this filament is wrong. The, the filament is way to the front of the, the, the lamp. Uh, in other models, the filament is uh, too, too low, too, too high, too, to the front, to the left, crooked. I've seen it all. <laughs> it is awful. As you can imagine, as you mount your, your bulb, it has to stay on a very specific place, as I told you. And if, if, if this uh, filament is not in the right place, the focusing of the headlamp cannot be ever, cannot be good. Uh, mainly if you don't use good quality headlamps and, and uh, um, bulbs, you can have not ever f try to focus your, uh, your uh, assembly. Okay, this also happens on the H7s. Of course, this one, the filament is too low, I think, and too backward position. 
I don't remember. So this right now, these these two lamps are just for testing and stuff, like I show you on the Alpha 155 uh, video on the, the the part two. I can put a link up here. Um, this is just for testing. I don't I don't mind them to fall. I don't care. They are really bad. This one is good. I will save it. And that's it, guys. I think that as that is. I uh, know oh another thing. Um, the position of the the bulbs inside the projector or inside. Sorry, the positioning of the the light bulbs inside the reflector or projector is very important. Like the position of the filament, if the lamp itself is not uh, correctly mounted, the position of or okay, let's 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 call it another thing. The filament cannot be uh, out of place where it be for a bad quality lamp or a wrongly mounted lamp. Let me show the difference. This is a good quality, a good quality and greatly mounted lamp, and I will mount it wrongly so you to see. What do you think of that? It's pointing upwards. The problem with this, obviously. It would be it would be nothing but a clear, a, uh, just an out of focus lamp, and then you try to tune your headlamp, and then the the problem says worse, and then you put the, the lamp in the correct position, and now with the the, the alignment is too low or too high, <laughs> it's a problem. So make sure uh, turn on off your headlights with your phone with the, with the light. Try to see if the lamp is correctly positioned positioned and i think i hope you can see this lamp is pointing upwards another problem with this in this moment the lamp the filament is very close or very closer to the top of the the reflector what will will happen the reflector will melt much more easily if you keep your uh, light bulbs wrongly positioned positioned the 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 reflector will burn up the the same is true for the projector but it, it it's worse because you cannot see it from the outside you have to do everything on the inside be sure be very 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 sure that you are correct uh, correctly mounting your lamps it is very difficult to see uh, even with the focus because if you uh, mount the, the the light bulb wrongly on the projector the focus of the projector will be almost okay but not okay at all okay for now uh, i think that's it if you have any any more questions about lightning like no not lightning <laughs> lighting uh, electricity mechanical stuff everything alfa romeo as i as i uh, usually say um Say uh, say stuff to me. <laughs> Today I'm a little bit uh, on the offside. Uh, talk to me on the comments below. Consider subscribe on on my channel. Share with your friends uh, as much as you want. I don't. I, I really don't. Uh, don't give. A, I don't have a problem with that. Some people ask me if I if they can um, share with their their friends. I want you to share this this stuff with your friends. I don't want you to be ripped off with this kind of uh, shitty lamps that no one wants and then they sell saying 100% uh, more light no never how uh, give me some testing that is true however for the the wash and the philips lamps that really they are really good and really expensive but this kind of garbage please don't look th this corrosion this Th these three lamps are the together on the same on the same spot together how does this lamp get this corroded in this one this this not this one did not this one actually is not very much corroded uh it's starting there it's starting down there okay uh moving on i'm leaving you here with a um Two clips about a sound that a specific car is making. 
the brand and, and the, the making model of the car is not important. What is important is the sound. I want you to listen to the sound. I know what the problem is. And I want you to tell me what, you do, what do you think the problem is. And that sound is a very big problem that is mostly the fault of uh, misinformed consumer, consumers and owners of cars. Um, trying to save a penny uh, here and there. And they are, um, well, I'll, I, am, I am almost saying everything. So be sure to listen to the noise and then tell me on the comments below, for example, what do you think the, the problem is? Okay, bye.